Uh, my old enemy noses. My other old enemies, lips, ears, eyes. Hello. Hello, everyone. Today we will be drawing Captain John Luke Picard of the USS Enterprise. On a canvas, I would normally be painting, but I am just not in the mood. So I'm going to draw with a charcoal pencil or two or three. This is like a stick of pure charcoal. The first thing we're going to do is to draw the top and bottom of the head. Out here for the chin. So his head will be here and then his uniform will come out here. I think we'll be able to get his communicator in too. I don't know if you can see the mess. Yeah, I know. I am moving house soon, so. Now that I've established some of the size that I want, I just want to work on the silhouette. This is also the hardest part of the drawing, because you have nothing to work with yet. Very approximate shape for the head. Looks pretty like an egg, don't worry about it. One shoulder appears higher than the other because he's sort of posed in a, you know, in a, I'm exaggerating, but it's sort of a bit like that. Um, currently it looks like it's facing straight on without a turn. And his face is turned slightly to his left and slightly to his up. So we must make it look like that. I'm sure a more professional artist would have just gotten this correct straight away from having thousands of hours of drawing experience. But so it is not for the rest of us. So I think, I think we're, we're definitely improving. The more head is tilted up, the less the jaw curves down. See, almost flat here. And if it curves, all the way over, it curves the other way. So slight tilt up, slightly less down for the jaw. So we're just gonna bring this bottom curve up a bit and then see if it looks right. Do not be afraid to erase entire sections of your drawing if they do not look right. If they don't look right, well, you just can't keep them. This line is slightly wrong, it's next to thick. The canvas is tilted slightly, so it looks a little bit more squished to you than it does to me. It would be better to draw at eye height, but I'm just gonna show you why I can't. Yeah. I don't know what's with this easel. But if you, if you move the base of this up to try and get it to eye height, the top keeps going up. <laughs> yeah, low ceiling ruined my drawing. That's a new one for you. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the silhouette now. It's been 45 minutes and that seems like a really excessive amount of time to not draw any of the features, but we'll draw them now. <laughs> Hopefully they won't take as long because of this. So, I guess I'll just do that now. <laughs> and because we're tilted slightly up, there will be a curve like this. So if the eyes were completely level, there would not be a curve. Now we need a line for the bottom of the nose. Otherwise, your nose will be too long. It is how it is. You see the bottoms of the ears? If you check, the nose is just slightly above them because we're doing a curve still from the bottom of the nose to the chin. The mouth should be one third of the way down or two thirds up if you are so inclined. Now we can just start um, drawing on our lines. It's important to remain calm. Turns out the jaw was too wide. So, not rely on my original drawing much as I'd have liked to do what we can. I need to move all of this over to the right. It's 
not racing as much as I'd like it to. Mm, if his right side was too wide, probably the other side is too. That explains why a lot of things went wrong over here. I mean, all that stuff about getting the silhouette right would work in theory. <laughs> if I had done it right, I guess. A uh, few things go perfectly smoothly. In life and in drawing. It does make a mess when you have to clean it up like this. But I do want to keep going, so. Not because I'm painfully aware of how bad the sketch looks for you on the screen, it actually looks not as bad as that for me. I'm just gonna start blocking in some shadows and hopefully that will make the image there <laughs> look less bad. <laughs> I gotta smudge everything with this. Wow. That, mm, I'm not sure that's what I wanted. I'm gonna have to make the background dark to hide all the edges because they're not being erased. At this stage, you really have to uh, believe in yourself. Basically, I'm pretty new to charcoals, and I did not know that they would do that. I'm sure it will be fine. Okay, making this, making this, focus. It will still be fine. <laughs> it will still be completely fine. Confidence is key. If you don't have confidence, then you would have given up long before this moment. And now we're starting to press a little harder with the pencil, so we're really not going to be able to go back from this. So if we ruin it from now, yeah, it's gonna be a lot harder to bring it back. You see that eye? It does not look so bad now. It doesn't look perfect, but I told you we could bring it back. I said that we could, and it might even be actually happening. Everything is approximately in the right place. It may not look like it is, but it's, it definitely is. So we'll get going on the eyebrow, and then I'm gonna do the shading around here. We're gonna, we're gonna go on this side. It looks somewhat promising. I think I'm more happy with the features on his right side than I am with everything else. He has um, an extremely prominent, uh, gosh, what bone is that? It's not the zygomatic bone up here, it's, that's that one. I'll find out what bone it is, but the one here is very strong, it, very, it sinks in quite a lot at the temples. There will be a highlight there, I've got no highlight there at the moment. Starting to look bring backable. Definitely starting to look, we, c we can solve this. We, we can make it through the wilderness. We just need to recover this highlight over here. And that little pink towel was not giving me enough precision, so now I have rolled up tissue. Only the highest quality equipment here at Sharps Artisan. Did I introduce myself? My name's Alexis. And I'm very good at art. Okay, Putty Eraser, actual MVP of this drawing. Doing a lot of work for us. <laughs> um, okay, let's... You know, let's fix the head a little bit. These lines are too visible. Using the original smudge tool. You know what, that's not, it's not perfect, but it's actually not as, it's not that bad. I should really go, I should really do it the other way. Because I'm left-handed, I'm gonna smudge everything when I move to the right side. But you know, that would have required a level of planning that I am clearly not capable of. Please go away, sins of the past. Sketch lines. Oh well, pretend they're not there. 
Oh, we're gonna have to do it eventually, aren't we? The other eye. Okay, should we do the other eye? No, I don't wanna. Let's do the nose first. So there are two lights. One directly above him, shining off his bald head and that bone. Oh yeah, I said I was gonna do the nose. Right, the nose, got it. Okay. Oh, my old enemy noses. My other old enemies, lips, ears, eyes. I think this bit just by the eye socket is slightly lighter. So it's been like two hours. If you're wondering how long it's been, it's been two hours. It's going to take me forever to edit this. Anyway, carry on. We're gonna have to crack out the mirror. If you've ever done digital art, you'll understand. When you when it looks okay, and then you flip the canvas, and it turns out you sucked at art all along. Oh my god. That's not good. Wow. So much is wrong. But, it's mostly on that side of the face, which we haven't done yet. So, we can fix it as we go. First of all, the chin is lopsided. Why didn't any of you tell me? I don't know why I made the ears so long. That was a bit ridiculous. These issues provide us with an excellent excuse to continue procrastination on the second eye. So I'll, just, I'll draw this side as nicely as I can, and then it will be easier to rectify whatever is happening on the other side, which the mirror says it's not doing well, but I'm not really sure why. Like, I'm not exactly sure what thing is the most to blame. I haven't touched the lips yet. Hello, lips. Little kissy. Little kissy. The lip goes down a bit too much on this side, makes it look like he's um, slightly sneering. Save this mirror. You know, maybe I have one of those little smudgy things. Um, I do have one of those sticks that smudges things. This will help. And we're only two and a half hours into the drawing. Uh, oh, I want to smudge the lip with this. Ooh. Now that is handy. Oh gosh, that shadow for the chin is way too dark. Looks like it's got a spot. I think the blendy thing is a bit too strong. I think I've made a lot of the shadows unintentionally too dark because I did not know what it would do. Yes. Good, that's what we want. You know, let's do the ear. Not the other eye. Let's do the ear. This way we can get at least half the face done before three hours. Yeah, that's pretty good. Probably just leave it like that. Oh my god, it's almost been three hours. How did it take this long? I have not even done the second eye yet. Uh, I mean, it's quite something, I think, to procrastinate that hard in a drawing you are currently doing. Oh, I'm getting tired of standing up. My legs are tight. Ah. Oh my god, it's nearly 5 p.m. That is not good. That is not ideal. We need to finish this drawing. I have other things to do. Oh no. Stay calm. Okay, stay calm. So much calmer. We need to figure out what's wrong with this. Uh. I think that eye might be slightly too high and slightly too inwards. Just dip it a bit outwards. No, but it will be too far from the nose then. Maybe it needs to be slightly larger or slightly longer, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing the other eye. It had to happen eventually. 
and now it is. Right. This needs sharpening. I'm going to do the other eye again. Do this. We've got to, we've got to get a move on. I cannot. If I spend too much time on this, I will just not finish it. Some of the people. I do believe the amount of caffeine that I've drunk is both positively affecting my focus, but negatively affecting how steady my hand is. We're remaining calm. Okay, it's not. It's not looking perfect. Ooh, that is not good. This is why I didn't want to do that eye. It was going so well until we did that eye. I blame everyone but myself. No, I can't leave the eye like that. It's just not correct. Oh my god, he's cross-eyed. How did I not notice that? <laughs> too caught up in the details. Moved everything around a little bit too much, so. The eye light needs to move, which is a little tricky. Oh, he's looking, he's looking the right way now. What's Troy's communicator? Nice last thing. I'm so old. It's still not perfect, but I think it's as good as we're gonna get. Let's so have a look. The eyes, the eyes could be better. I just did not get those right. I just didn't. One eye is good. I, wait, what's wrong with the nose? It's an endless amount of things that could be improved. I can't just keep fixing this forever because it has been almost four hours. So we have what we have. I usually draw an A5 sized paper in my sketchbook and the portraits come out a bit better because I, could, I don't have to move my arm as much, I guess. I, I considered stopping about halfway through when that shading first came in with the charcoal and I thought, oh, this looks not how I thought it would. I thought it would blend better. I thought it wouldn't be as dark. Persevering was, was worth doing. I, I think that the drawing is, it's not the worst drawing I've ever done. The drawings I did when I was like, you know, six were way worse. It would probably be better to use paper. Not every drawing can be perfect, and this one, I do not believe it was perfect. I really wanted a good drawing that, oh my god, this is this is standing out too much. Blo be blobbed away. I'm actually really pleased with how the communicator went out, just some light lines. I mean, I spent like one minute on that, and I think that looks better. It's a lot less complex. So, while I've not met my own personal expectations, sorry, but it is how it is. We did finish. We completed our drawing. Regardless of the quality of the drawing, if you found the video entertaining, then please consider subscribing and or and or liking and, and saying something in the the comments. So I mean what do you think? Am I being too harsh? Is it alright? Is it not alright? I hope you enjoyed your time here. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. Absolute chaos. Jean-Luc! You delicious man! You were just thinking of me, weren't you?